All right, so here's another third grade question from the New York State test that we can use to study for the New York State test or for common core standards. Here it tells us that, that the drawing below shows the number of pumpkins in Tyler's pumpkin patch. So here they are. Which expression can be used to find the total number of pumpkins in, the, in Tyler's pumpkin patch? So don't be scared by this question. It says expression. An expression is something in math like 3 plus 3 or 2 plus 5. It's just a way of combining numbers and operations like plus, minus, subtract, divide with numbers like 1 and 2 and 3. But an expression doesn't have an equal sign. So if I told you that 1 plus 2 is, is 1 plus 2, that's an expression. But if I say 1 plus 2 equals 3, that's called an equation. So they're just telling you that they don't want to know how many pumpkins there are, right? They don't want to know what the equation is. They want to know um, how would you find the answer. And what do I notice? Well, I'm going to I'm going to take advantage of the fact that they show all these pumpkins and count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I know there are eighteen pumpkins. And a nice fast way of thinking about that might have been to say to myself, oh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six in one row, all right? And there are six in this row, and there are six in this row, so there are three rows of six. And you can think about it this way, there are three rows, three pumpkins, this way, and each row has six pumpkins. So you can really think about this as three groups of six pumpkins, right? Three rows or groups of pumpkins. And I would write that as multiplication. Three times six means, first of all, it means 18, which is the answer we need. And it also means you have six plus six plus six, or one, two, three groups of six pumpkins. So out of all of these, I would pick A, three times six. If you're not sure about the other ones, I would solve them to figure out if they make sense, right? 6 plus 3 is 9. That's not enough pumpkins. Here, 3 plus 3 plus 3, that's just 9 pumpkins, right? It's 3 groups of 3. Not enough. 6 times 6 times 6, that's a really big number, right? 6 times 6 is 36, and it's already more pumpkins than we have, so I know this one can't be the answer. So again, I would stick with A. All right, I hope that helped.